I'd like to introduce you to my friend, my brother, uh, according to Mar Pearl, his mother, uh, the mayor of Lizard Lake, North Carolina. If you've ever heard of the place, it's because of this fella. <laughs> he's, he's given it worldwide publicity, and it's known all over the world because of Mayor Charles Wood. I've written him a special tribute called The Mayor of Lizard Lake that I'm going to read, and I've invited Charles to butt in anywhere he'd like to, to, to add some flavor to the story I'm telling poetically. Well, it was my lucky day when Mama adopted you as my brother, so we've been together quite a few years. And, God, uh, it's almost we, 40 years. Yeah, good grief. You're making me old now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've had some great times over the past 20 years. And looking so, forward to having more. All right. I'm going to go ahead with the mayor of Lizard Lick. Read on. Once upon a Jimmy John, a lizard liquor, sold as moonshine from a still, a town no larger than its crossroads bore the name of it at will. Thus a legend was created, with homage to reptilian law, and a self-appointed statesman who kept vigil at the door. With this spokesman's skilled promotions, the legend drifted far and wide, from talks of sailors crossing oceans to the Caribbean countryside. Oft compared to Andy Griffith... Wait a minute, Andy Griffith... I've heard people say that you're the Andy Griffith oh, of the okay. of, of, of the South. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I've seen that. I've seen that in the paper. But they might have quoted me. <laughs> <laughs> I've compared to Andy Griffith in this region of the South, a hand and friend to all who need him, and much praised by word of mouth. He once solved the outhouse caper, stolen from a native son. You know where it was at? Uh -uh. It was just north of here on Lizard Lake Road, and we went up to uh, pick it up with the sheriff now. Somebody had stole it from a friend of mine, and uh, we had to knock on the door to <laughs> let the people know that we were going to get it. But that was an actual fact. I know. Yeah. Okay, carry on. Ran a plea in the local paper, got it back here, day was done. That's, yeah. That's a good one. A sense of humor is his virtue, along with numerous other good. And to all who know and love him, he is known as Mayor Wood. Taking hold of these fair crossroads was a gesture not assured though by sweat and perseverance it is a task now long endured. From his Orange Blossom special, broadcasting bluegrass serenades... Now that was on WETC Radio. I did a morning show on Saturday for bluegrass music. That's right. that's all I played was bluegrass. And that, that's a and that got to be pretty video. famous. Yeah. Because I heard about your Orange Blossom special before I met you. Ah. Oh. And then, of course, I've had you on my radio show, uh, you Claudio Speakeasy. You Blossom special, didn't you? <laughs> That's right. I, I had a lot of fun with that. I'm sure. You kept yeah. that going for how many yeah. years? It's a couple of years. Every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, here come the Bluegrass special coming through. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to continue with the poem. From his Orange Blossom special, broadcasting bluegrass serenades, to his never-ending ventures and publicity escapades. He has brought on celebrations for the townsfolk and their lot, some now rooted in tradition, others not to be forgot. The Lizardlick Festival is his legacy to township family and friends. It boasts a wide array of talent and other modernizing trends. In an age that has made science of a ravenous greed, he stands tall amid the rubble that is turning to seed. The winds are leafing the pages of yesteryear's book, and we're all trying to shake free of the governing hook. He takes pride in his mascots, with a famed annual run, where elected officials also join in the fun. You might want to explain yeah. what that is. Well, we had uh, lizard races, and we had the mayor of uh, Raleigh, Mayor Isabel Cannon. She came down and raced a lizard, and uh, we had uh, Chief Willoughby Hopkins. Uh, he came and run a lizard. Mayor Cannon said that, that it was a crooked race because my her lizard had a crooked leg or something. <laughs> Mayor Upchurch from yeah, Longo, he was yeah. part of it too. Yeah, Mayor Upchurch was uh, involved. We had a real great time with it. I shall continue. Go ahead. Being by far less than perfect is his charm, one might say. Now, I'm not too perfect, but I, I don't <laughs> Let <know>. me finish. <laughs> okay, go ahead. For he is strangely disorganized in an organized way. Yeah, now that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Mother of the Wood Clan, or affectionately known as Ma Pearl, is truly a lady and a southern class girl. Hers is the honor for love, patience, and good in honing and sculpting these souls made of wood. For they all, in their measure have strived to excel, 
and by their own gifts serve their communities well. There is Shirley, renowned First Lady, whom the Mayor took to wife. She keeps him grounded in commitment to the government of family life. Whistleblower, journalist and cameraman in tow, ace mechanic, metal welder, host of his own show. Carpenter, freelance technician, connoisseur of the distilled. Father, grandpa, non-politician, and sometimes non-too-thrilled. <laughs> Not-too-thrilled, you're right. <laughs> a Ben Franklin of the non-secular amid political debate. A position less indigenous to the mockery of fate. There now, that sized him up quite well. One couldn't do it any quicker, like the anticipation on a lizard's tongue for what flies round lizard liquor. Are you sure you haven't had a drink when you read that? I'm sure I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, Claudia. That was really great. That was a real pleasure. Again, this is the Honorable Mayor of Lizard Lick, Mayor Charles Wood, known as Woody to some, but Mayor Wood to most all, and I also know him as my brother. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning us in. Cheers. <laughs>